We are tracking a weather alert tonight. Meteorologist Dave Aguilera, March proving it is our snowiest month. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Typically on average, it is, right? You wouldn't know that yesterday when we were in the 70s. A uh, whole different ball game today. Take a look. Look out, mountain camera, where it's 26 degrees. Fog and light snow already flying there. Tech Center into downtown. We've had little bouts of rain mixed with snow going through. We're still above freezing at 33. As soon as that sun goes down, any moisture we get the, coming through is probably going to be all snow. And it's going to be this little wave, which is uh, coming right up into Douglas County right now. You can see it right here from Castle Rock all the way down to North Colorado Springs. That's going to push into the Denver metro area. We've got another wave from Boulder into Fort Collins up here. A lot of that already changing up the snow out there. And we've got rain out here on the northeastern side of this thing coming through. The cold front now has pushed through. Earlier today, you probably felt a little shift in the wind. We uh, dropped the temperature a little bit. Now, this low pressure area is starting to move in, and that's creating the upslope. And that's where we have the snow coming in. There's also another one already pushing into the Pacific Northwest. So we'll have another little bout with snow on Tuesday. And then beyond that, there's another one that may give us a little snow on Friday. So we've got a, a few waves coming in the uh, first full week of spring headed our way. So into tonight we go by 10 o'clock. We're still in the snow around the front range. That'll probably continue through tomorrow morning and then push out. And again, what's going to happen with this is so warm out there on the pavement, there's going to be a lot of melting going on here. And with the heavier, thicker, snow, it compacts more. So most of the snow you measure will be on the grassy areas. About half of it may stick to the roadways by tomorrow morning. So uh, it's going to really be depending upon where you measure it as to how much snow you have. Tomorrow morning down here in the southeast, we might actually have some morning thunderstorms with a little convection going on there. And then by afternoon, things start to clear out somewhat. There's the noon map. We might still have a few flurries and then it breaks up later in the day at 6 uh, p.m. Uh, and then we'll have a little break before before Tuesday's wave starts to move in here. Here's what I'm expecting now for specific numbers, and these are uh, model estimates now. So from about Centennial, Littleton, all the way down to Monument Hill, some areas could be 6 to 12 inches of snow, and that pushes up into the foothills and the mountains. Downtown Denver, up to about Firestone through this area here, probably about 3 to 6 inches of snow. And then Fort Collins, Windsor, Greeley, and northward, about uh, 1 to maybe 3 inches of snow up there. The further north you go, the less or snow uh, amounts you will see out of this uh, whole thing coming through. So again, the winter weather advisories through tomorrow afternoon, the bigger amounts will be the uh, high areas of Douglas, Elbert County, uh, northern El Paso County, all the way back up into the foothills here. And we'll see snow down south too. A little pocket around the wet mountains of San Cristos could see 6 to 12 inches of snow there as well. High today actually made it to 50 at the airport and 54 downtown, but that was just after midnight last night, and we've been getting cooler and cooler ever since. 37 out there right now, and it's 34 at the airport. So lows tonight will dip down into the 20s and teens for most folks. And tomorrow, a cool day, a lot of 30s and 40s showing up on the weather map for tomorrow. So tonight in the metro area, about 2 to 4, and then tomorrow morning we'll add into that, and that'll wind up with a 3 to 6 by tomorrow afternoon. So snow likely early tomorrow. Drive could be kind of sticky for you. Watch out for that. Near 40 for the high tomorrow. 43 on Tuesday. A little dip on Wednesday with that system coming through. And then Thursday and Friday, another chance of rain mixed with snow. So uh, wasting no time at getting some moisture here on our average snowiest, snowiest month. month right? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there you go. All right, Dave. Thanks. You bet. We'll stay up to date on all our news.